A father, husband, and attorney murdered in his front lawn. All of a sudden I heard like a sound like explosion, gunshot or something. Tonight, the search is on for the gunman. And tonight we've learned that police tracked down the suspect's vehicle, but no one was inside. That vehicle registered to a man named David Youngerman. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield dug deeper into a connection between Youngerman and the victim. Rian and behind me is Baby Tenda Corporation, which Youngerman owns, and it eventually led him down the paths to cross paths with the victim. Violence in Brookside. Because the time his husband was shot in the front yard, the suspect was in a white van with no back window. Late Wednesday, police finding that vehicle registered to David Youngerman. That's all they think about. A businessman in Northeast Kansas City, 41 Action News has profiled in the past and had a connection to the victim prior to today. It was a very difficult thing to, to have to face. Court records we obtained show Youngerman was served these documents Tuesday, instructing him to sell his properties and assets to pay a $5.8 million settlement involving a shooting at his business back in September 2012. At the time, Youngerman said he shot two men trying to break in. You can see one of those victims here as he's wheeled into an ambulance. He later lost his leg due to the shooting and sued. One of the reasons why it's important to find the right attorney. Thomas Pickert, featured here on his law firm's website, represented the injured man in the civil case against Youngerman and won. All of a sudden I heard like a sound like explosion, gunshot or something. Now police are searching for clues, standing guard outside Youngerman's home and business too. Police would not say where they found Youngerman's vehicle today. Um, as far as the business goes, police were here for a long time, but they have not named him a person of interest or a suspect. I tried to call the businessman on the phone tonight, but it went straight to voicemail. We are live in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.